What's up guys, Matt here, and today we're talking about LUTs. Let's dive right into it. Now LUT stands for look up table, and you can get really complex into LUTs, it's a whole other field in itself, but it's really not necessary if you're just trying to make your videos look better. You can think of a LUT kind of like a color theme for your picture or video. Uh, don't get this confused with color profiles, which are kind of a pre-built color burned into your image from your camera, but whatever color profile you do choose on your camera, it's going to affect how the LUT turns out in post. So the best way to see how they all interact is to just play with them in Premiere or whatever editing software you use. Kind of play with the color profiles and LUTs and, and see how they interact and look. Now if you do have a log profile built into your camera, LUTs are going to interact a little differently. The log profile is just basically a more flat color and allows you to pull more colors and, and more dynamic range in your image. It's probably not something you need to worry about too much, but if you are interested in getting more into the color sciences and all that, definitely look into a log profile and play around with it. Now a lot of people out there make pre-made LUTs that you can download and just slap right onto your footage. Now it's super great and convenient, but you need to be careful with this because someone else's LUT could have been made for their different type of camera or color profile. So you definitely need to play with them and see how they interact with your footage. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to use those pre-made LUTs on your footage without it looking oversaturated and just ruining your footage. It's an art in it of itself and you need to be really subtle with it. So let's hop on in Premiere Pro and take a look at it. So once you're in Premiere Pro, go ahead and drag the clips that you want to use over into your timeline. Now you can see that this color profile looks very flat and the colors don't really pop. That's because I shot this in Vlog L on the GH5 and that's a uh, Panasonic's version of their log profile and it's just very flat and gives you more room to pull color from. You have to pay $100 for it, which is pretty ridiculous. Now playing LUTs to a log colored profile is gonna be different from one of the pre-made color profiles on your camera that's not log. First, we need to bring this color back to a normal look. And the way we do that is we put a Rec. 709 LUT on there. You can get this LUT free from Panasonic if you do have a Panasonic camera. It just brings your colors back to the normal look. What I like to do is I'll, I'll put that directly on to the clip itself. And you'll open up your Lumetri Color tab here. And by the way, if you don't see this Lumetri Color window open, you can open it up by going over here to Window, and then going down to Lumetri Color. You just click that and it'll open this up for you. And this gives you options for um, basic color correction, creative, you can play around, there's a whole bunch of cool stuff in here. But we're going to be using mainly this Creative tab. And to apply the LUT to this main video file, the Rec. 709 one, I'm going to go here to Look, I'm going to go to Browse, and I'll go to my Rec. 709 folder, and I'll put this .cube file on there. And that's going to pull this back to its normal colors. Now this looks a pretty orange, so I'm going to pull the temperature down a little bit so it's a little more normal. And obviously if I was going to do this for a final product, I'd uh, mess around with the shadows and all that good stuff in there. Now when you want to apply your LUT, it's very simple. Just head down here and create an adjustment layer. Click OK if the settings match, they should by default. And drag that adjustment layer to your layer above your video. Now this adjustment layer is what you're going to put your LUT on. Once you have your adjustment layer highlighted, you can go over to Creative and go to Browse and wherever you downloaded your LUT to, one of these .cube files is what you're going to want to select. So you just browse in your file explorer over to your .cube file which would be one of your LUTs. Now I'm going to throw this Kodak Killer LUT on there and see what that looks like. So just double click it and apply it. As you can see it kind of gave it an orangish teal look to it. And this is at 100% and this is where people normally go wrong when they use LUTs. You don't want to leave these at 100%. Pull it down a little bit to where you feel it looks best. See if I go to zero, it's back to normal. Just a little subtle hint there. Sometimes, very rarely, you'll go over 100. But with something this orange, I don't want to, I don't want to bring it up too high. Somewhere right around in there. And the cool thing about LUTs is you can actually stack them. So if I were to drag another adjustment layer on top of this adjustment layer, I could throw another LUT on top of there. Do the same thing, go to Browse, 
And another LUT I do like is called Black Guy by Peter McKinnon. Now see this is 100%, it's very very dark here. But if I pull it down, it's gonna punch the blacks a little more. And give it a more moody feel. Just kind of find that sweet spot where it's not too heavy, just 32. And as you can see, it's just subtle, a very subtle look. I'm turning both these layers on and off, so you can see. It's a very subtle look. And now that is just the LUTs that are applying your color on there. If you're doing your main video, you're going to want to go into color correction and you're going to want to play with everything that's in here to fine tune it even more. I mean the possibilities are endless here. Um, the LUTs just kind of add the overall mood and color look like I was saying earlier. And guys, that's that's pretty much it for LUTs. It's super simple. The one thing you want to keep in mind though is that don't leave these at 100%. Don't just slap it on there and leave it how it is. Play around with it and get a good look from it. As long as you do that, your footage should come out looking crisp and not overly teal and orange like everyone's doing lately. Now, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, show me some love, drop a like. And if you have any questions, please feel free to drop a comment and I will get back to you as soon as possible and do the best I can to help you. That's what I'm here for guys. And if you wanna see more videos from me, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified with all the videos that I come out with. My channel's mainly based off videography, photography, editing, and all sorts of stuff like that. So if you're into that, feel free to join the community and start following me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm feeling like old school mixtape. That's all I need. I'm feeling that low.